amigos, amigas, friends, my friends, everybody. You know who this is? Of course, this is Thunder Rosa. And I want to introduce to all of you guys, all of you, this absolutely amazing channel. This is the Dre 41 Gaming channel. And if you haven't seen this, guys, you are watching Dre 41. Hello everyone, this is Dre41 and welcome to another episode of Women's Wrestling Revolution. We got another tremendous show for you this evening and we are live in the nation's capital. And in the opening contest, we have a three-way battle and it is going to go down between three members of a tag team and um, they, they, these people want gold. The following contest is an elimination match. Making her way to the ring from the Philippines, Kay Carter. And Kaden Carter definitely wants some gold around her waist this season here on Women's Wrestling Revolution. And we are going to find out if she has what it takes to walk away with the victory here tonight to parlay that into a tag team victory for Team Ninja. It's really important that Kaden Carter does the best she can here tonight to get that victory, to get the momentum rolling. But she has some tough, tough opponents to go up against tonight, and it is not going to be an easy battle for her at all. She is going to have to stay on point here tonight, and this woman here is ready for the combat to happen. She wants the gold more than probably anyone in here. Uh, been in this season multiple, uh, been in this uh, league multiple seasons and wanting to and get some gold around her waist. First, from Los Angeles, California, Shirley Blackheart. And Shotzi Blackheart definitely wants to get her team some championship gold here. They want to take it away from Fire and Flavor. So we're going to see if that happens. It's going to be a tough one. But in this three-way battle, we are going to find out who will walk away with the victory and get that momentum going. Next week, we're going to start having the pay-per-view event for Women's Wrestling Revolution. It's going to be a four-week event. That is going to be crazy. Make sure you do not miss that. And now coming out, one half of the tag champs. And Tasha Steele's making her way to the ring one half of the Women's Wrestling Revolution Tag Team Champions. Her tag team partner, Kiera Hogan, is not out here. None of the other opponent's tag team partners are out here. This is going to be a match where they're going to have to prove what they have here tonight. They are going to have to show that they got what it takes to get the victory here. Fans are on their feet for the opening contest. Caden is ready. Shotzi is ready. Tasha is ready. And we are about to get it going here. Referee calls for the bell, and here we go. Ooh, look at that cutter out of nowhere, taking down Kaden Carter. Big super kick. Taking down Shotzi Blackheart. 
Now going for a pin attempt here, and it is elimination. Referee going for the count, just a two. Caden able to kick out there, and now Shotzi picking her up here. Cross knee breaker. Taking down the legs of Tasha Steeles. And now Shotzi going up, looking like she wants to do a high risk maneuver, but look at this. For Kanrana off the top and down goes Shotzi. And now Caden with the German suplex with the bridge referee for the count, but ooh, just a one count. And now calling for Steeles to get to her feet here. What is she going to do? Oh, bumped into her. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, look at this. Going for the penitent referee for the count, too. Oh, just a two count. Just a two count and big forearm shot taking down Shotzi. And now Shotzi rolling out the ring. And now Caden going to work on one half of the tag team champions here and trying to put the boots to her no-go on that one. And um, just to let you guys know, this is like such a big moment for me. This is my first video I'm recording after uh, recovering from COVID. So I'm really happy that I'm able to do this uh, commentary, able to keep, you know, my lungs, you know, clear and able to keep my breath and, uh, able to keep my win, so I'm able to do this commentary, big boot right to the face, so I'm really glad that I'm able to do this commentary, definitely like this video for me recovering, I know that's cheap, isn't it, that's, that's cheap, we're gonna leave that alone, don't do that, thumbs down this video for that, okay. but big left hand by Caden, and now look at this, Canadian destroyer, big move there, go for the pin, yes, smart move there, referee for the count, one, two, and just a two count, Tasha Steele's able to kick out here. One half of the tag team champions showing that she's still able to fight through this. Oh, big forearm shot. Oh, spin kick missed there. And now it's straight Bedlam and STO. Great move there by Shotzi. Pin attempt. Referee for the count again. Just a two count. Caden Carter able to kick out there. And Shotzi trying to go for a drop kick. No go on that one. And now look at this. Another pin attempt here. Referee for the count to, oh my goodness, one half of the tag team champions have been eliminated. And now look at this, got her goozled here, and what is this? Flatliner by Caden Carter, and she should go for the pin. Why is she even taunting? Stay on point here. Ooh, big clothesline. Okay, I guess she knew what she was doing. I'm going to be quiet. And now look at this, big clothesline again. Shotzi backing into the corner. Caden Carter, what is she doing? Full, uh, I don't, what is what is she doing? Oh, yes, please walk up to her. Big boot right to the face. Good reversal there. Now Shotzi dropping her down. Goal for the pin attempt. Referee for the count. Oh, just a one count there. And Caden Carter is staying in this one. And you gotta think that uh, Tasha Steeles is definitely very disappointed that she was eliminated. One half of the tag team champions out of it. And now Shotzi calling for Caden Carter to get to her feet here. What is she planning on doing? Picking her up. Fireman's carry. But Caden Carter not trying to hear none of that. Big elbows right to the side of the head. And now has her right where she wants her. Puts her against the ropes here. And now what's this? Picks her up. Oh no. Look at this. It's going to be that twisting neck breaker. Big move there by Caden. Going for the pin attempt. Referee for the count. One. Two and just a two count shot. See, able to kick out. Caden is still trying to stay on point, missing that drop kick. And now Shotzi in the driver's seat. Big DDT going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count. One, two, and just a two count. Caden able to kick out. And these two women definitely want their teams to win the tag team championships. Problem is, only one team can get that done. And look at the cutter out of nowhere. And now Shotzi going up top. Looked like she wants to pull off that senton. And boom! Got that senton off and knocked out her opponent. Referee called it there. And I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Shotzi able to get the victory. Wow, that is crazy. I cannot believe it. But nonetheless... Shotzi showing that she wants her team to be the tag team champions of women wrestling revolution and that and if she has her way that's exactly what's going to happen great performance by Caden Carter and Shotzi Blackheart able to eliminate 
one half of the tag team champions and then have a tremendous one-on-one -on -one contest with each other in this matchup here. But Shotzi able to get the knockout victory. Damn, she did her thing. And Shotzi Blackheart with the victory here tonight. And she wants to parlay that into a championship victory. We will see if that happens. But congratulations to Shotzi Blackheart. And up next, we have a tremendous one-on-one -on -one contest between two women who are, man, they are legends in women's wrestling. No, they're legends in wrestling here and they are going to tee off in this matchup. It is going to be a crazy one. We have the return of Taya Valkyrie to Women's Wrestling Revolution. A couple of name changes, a couple of things changed because so much time has passed. You know? Making her way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, Tia Valkyrie. So just to give you guys a little bit of background, um, it's been almost a month since episode number three and this episode number four and between that time there's been some releases so yes she was her and had her nxt name the last episode but now we're back to Taya Valkyrie. i did do a couple of updates to some of the women um so you will see some updates in this universe mode which i'm really happy about and um yeah we are uh definitely making sure that my universe modes are as up to date as possible um, I love this attire that I made for her. I might make a different color variant. We'll see what happens, but I'm really happy with how this one came out. So this is her debut NXT attire, but, you know. And now, coming out, this woman last week attacked Jordan Grace. And um, I'm almost sure Jordan Grace really wants to uh, get some revenge on this woman here. And, uh, yeah. And Mercedes Martinez is, is not from Hartford, Connecticut. She's from Waterbury, Connecticut, um, the Brass City, or as we affectionately, uh, affectionately call it, Dirty Waters. I, it is what, I don't know why, it is what it is. But uh, Mercedes Martinez, ready to go here tonight. Once again, last week, she attacked Jordan Grace. So um, that's going to be pretty intriguing to see how this match goes and if we'll get any uh, interference here, because uh, yeah, I, I think most people don't like getting attacked in their matches, so it will be very intriguing. Ty Valkyrie ready to go, Mercedes ready to go here, and referee calls for the bell, and here we go with a big spear out the gate, chopping Mercedes Martinez in half, big kick to the back, and now picking her up here, look at this, working around him out the gate look at that big move there by mercedes and now she is definitely holding down this matchup keeping it right where she wants it breaking the eyes trying to go behind their big elbows by taya and now ooh, bumped into each other oh look at that swerve big form shot taking down taya valkyrie and the jawbreaker good reversal there and now another spear chopping her in half damn she is spearing the hell out of Mercedes Martinez here tonight. And now picks her up, ooh, goodness, that high angle back suplex. And now stomping on the face of Taya Valkyrie. They are teeing off against one another here, picks her up. Might be a snake eyes right across the turnbuckle, the top turnbuckle. And now Mercedes is teeing off against Taya Valkyrie. Oh, here we go, here we go. Something was going to go down, and I knew it was going to happen. Damn, this is going to be a crazy one here. And Jordan Grace right behind her, kick to the gut. Pump handle is asserted, and the driver has been made. And look at that, just drilled her into the mat. And now Taya Valkyrie going for the cheap victory here. Oh, and almost a three count, and Taya cannot believe it. Getting in the referee's face, trying to make sure she asserts her will and feeling that it was a three count, but not wasting much time staying on top of her game. And now look at this old soul right on Mercedes Martinez. And Mar 
Martinez is in a bad spot here. Definitely in a bad spot here. And she's about to taste the ring now. Damn, and now Taya Valkyrie going up top. High risk maneuver on its way. What is Taya going to do here? Calling for Mercedes to get to her feet here. What's going to happen here? And oh no, grabs her out the air. Drops her down. Just flung her right on her face. And now Mercedes picking her up. Oh no, what's this here? Oh, big suplex. Oh, we might see the three amigos. Shout outs. Rest in peace to Eddie Guerrero. Oh my goodness, the three amigos. Suplex there by Mercedes Martinez. And she is going for the penitent here. Wasted a little bit of time. That might come back to bite her. And yes, it does. Not a three count on that attempt. And Mercedes is a little bit confused, but... Wasted some time there trying to go for the pin and now Taya with a big clothesline out the ring. And now feeling herself right now, taunting her opponent and Taya going up top. High, high wrist maneuver on its way here and calling for Mercedes to get to her feet, cross body and ooh, didn't connect 100% but was able to get enough to knock down Mercedes. And now picking her up here, slap right across the face. And now picking her up and dropping her down right in the face here. Right on the outside. And we do have those floor mats, but they only protect but so much. That hard ground underneath definitely hurts. Ooh, Northern Flight Damn. Trying to tee off on her opponent out here. Ooh, nice ass chop on Mercedes. And now turns her around. Oh my goodness, throws her face right into the wing post. And trying to throw those boots to her, but that was a no-go. And now picks her up here. And what's going to happen? Ooh, Snake Eyes on the apron. Second hardest part of the ring because the ring post is the hardest part of the ring. Can we all agree that the ring post is the hardest part of the ring? Like, let's be honest here. It's just, it, it is what it is. And now, surprisingly enough, Mercedes up top. Ooh, knee right across the chest there. And now picking up Taya. And now a cutter. Big move there. And going for the penitent referee. Oh, rope break. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me that it's a rope break. And now Irish whip all the way into the corner. Mercedes taking her time. That might be a mistake. And yup, go reversal there by Taya. Ooh, and the reversal there by Mercedes. Nice ass chop. Damn. And now tree of woe here. Taya upside down and now that boot right to the face maybe to the throat there and uh Mercedes taking a breath here she's uh trying to figure out what she needs to do but calling for Taya to get up she wants to finish this one off picks her up oh look at the elbows right to the side of the head Taya is not ready to go just yet northern fight suplex with the bridge that could be rope break though just a two count though now Taya calling for Mercedes to get to her feet here. And once again, Mercedes was attacked by Jordan Grace here. And Taya Valkyrie dropping her down. For, that might be rope break. No? Oh, it was rope break. Damn. Oh, it could have been over right there. But just the positioning. The positioning. That was the problem for both of them, actually. Both of them had bad positioning for the pin attempt. And now whipping her off the ropes here. And this is just a tremendous matchup between these two women here. And I'm stomping now. Look at this Mercedes Martinez with those punches. Raining down on Taya Valkyrie and stomp right to the gut. Now going for the penitent here. I don't think she's going to get a three count off that one. Come on, let's be honest. Not going to get a three count off that one. Come on. That's, that's just wild. I, I really don't see that one happening. And both these women want the victory so bad here oh both of them have the same idea with that running strike and now taya valkyrie gets mercedes closer to the middle of the ring which is smarter for her to do especially with her finisher and now taya going up top high risk maneuver on its way she definitely has a lucha background here and it looks like it's gonna be a moon so big moon so big moon so go for the pin go for the pin and yep she's going for the pin smart move there referee for the count two three 
and Taya Valkyrie with a victory here tonight. And do we say the assist goes to Jordan Grace for the interference? Look at this pump handle driver. Oh, damn, man, didn't want to show it. Okay, shout outs to the uh, producer. Oh, big. That, look at that. Just made her fight the curb with that one. And then that cutter out of nowhere. They were teeing off against each other. That's the one thing I can say. They were going all out against one another, and you got to give them so much props here. Big moves. They were doing their thing. Here is your winner, Tia Valkyrie. And Taya Valkyrie with the victory. But uh, Jordan Grace definitely, uh, definitely helped with that. We'll see where this one goes. Ooh, and the last time we seen Tessa Blanchard was last week in her backstage battle with Io Shirai. And you gotta think that she's gonna call out Io Shirai here tonight. You, you gotta think that's, that's what's gonna happen here. Because uh, these two women definitely cannot stand one another and they definitely have an upcoming match. Let's see what Tessa has to say here. And before even getting a word out, we hear Io Shirai's music and she is definitely on her way to the ring. Like I said, these two women have no love lost. So uh, you're definitely going to see possibly a battle here tonight between these two. And Io Shirai can care less what uh, Tessa has to say. And uh, I would love to see these two women battle it out in the ring and see who walks away with the victory. Both of them are tremendous athletes in their own right here. But um, yeah, this is going to be pretty intriguing to see what happens between these two women because both of them aren't here to play no games. This is going to be a crazy one. Let's see what happens between these two uh, in this ring. Ooh. Ooh, big punch right to the face. Yeah, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Let's get it cooking and go behind. Big German suplex by Io Shirai taking down Tessa and now throwing the boots to her. Oh, yeah, it's definitely, yeah. This is what I like to see where the ref at though. Oh, look at this. Who tried to go for the elbow and didn't get it off. Tessa not trying to get none of that. And now look at the side Russian leg sweep by the diamond. And Io Shirai might be in a little bit of trouble here. And now look at this. Picks her up high angle back suplex. And Io Shirai is definitely, oh, wait a minute. Got back to her feet here. But Tessa ready for it with that swinging neck breaker. And now rolling her to the center of the ring and now trying to dislocate that shoulder and Io Shirai is going to have to do something here she is getting hands, feet everything put on her right now she must have heard me good reversal there and now picking up Tessa and now what's this oh wait a minute oh just drilled her big move there by Io Shirai he almost stomped right to the face damn and now an elbow to the back of the head and a big clothesline taking down Tessa. And finally, a referee in here trying to stop this battle. They definitely are going to have a match at the pay-per-view. And we have a great match for you in the main event. This is definitely one of these type of showcase matches here that I am very intrigued to see who will walk away with a victory. We haven't seen this woman here on Women's Wrestling Revolution in a while. It's great to see her back and to have her in the showcase main event here. This is going to be a crazy one. And Killer Kelly, ready to go. Ready to battle here. Killer Kelly is, I, I mean, just a different breed of professional wrestler. She can get down and dirty with the best of them and also can take the match to a technical side as well and beat you down and make you submit make you not want to wrestle anymore killer kelly is one of those competitors who is just all around a dangerous opponent and um i'm ready to see what she can do in women's wrestling revolution she definitely has what it takes to be a champion to get gold in this universe mode and fans are on their feet. They're ready to see what Killer Kelly can do. But look what we got here. We have the return of Scarlett Bordeaux. And she is ready to battle. From Chicago, Illinois, Sergeant Horn Durr. 
and Scarlett Bordeaux is ready to make an impact, no pun intended, in this universe mode. And getting the victory here, especially in the showcase main event, will be very, very good for her career here. We're going to see if she has what it takes to walk away with the victory against a tough, tough opponent, Killer Kelly. It, it's not going to be easy. I tell you that for damn sure. It is not going to be easy. She is going to have to dig down deep. I mean, her... I'm not going to sit there and say that that uh, Scarlett Bordeaux isn't a great technical wrestler. But she does have some high-impact moves. She is going to have to rely on those a lot to break down Killer Kelly and possibly walk away with the victory. But if I was a betting man, I would say Killer Kelly might have the edge over Scarlett Bordeaux. But we are going to find out right now. Referee calls for the bell. And look at that big spear. And like I said, Scarlett has to use those big moves. Technically, she's probably not in the same realm as Killer Kelly, so she has to utilize those big moves in, a, in order to get the victory here and stay on top. Even fight dirty if she has to. That's what she has to do here. Keep that pressure on Killer Kelly and get the victory. That's what she has to do here. And right now, ooh, stop right to the arm. And now look at this. She is actually staying on point against Killer Kelly right now. Just drilling her face right into the mat. Shoots the half. Going for the pin. Not hooking the leg. Might be a mistake there. Referee for the count. Just a one count. And the referee getting into position maybe probably helped Killer Kelly kick out. But uh, damn, uh, Scarlett Bordeaux is actually staying on point against Killer Kelly here. Oh no, look at this. Big vertical suplex. And now what's going to happen here? Picks her up. Fireman's carry. And now dumping her across the top rope. Oh my goodness. And now working on the leg of Scarlet Bordeaux. And Killer Kelly. Now just beating down her opponent. Showing. Oh, big elbow. Okay. Okay. And now look at this. Drops her down. Double leg. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Try to decapitate her with that bottom rope. And wow. Blowing a kiss at her. Wow. Scarlet Bordeaux ain't no joke, man. She she is definitely very, very rough house like I mean, just staying. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. Where's the rope break? Where's the rope? I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I love it. No rope break. Referee didn't see it. He's blind. These zebras, I'm telling you. Oh, kick right to the gut. Backs her back into the corner. And now what's she about to do? She's backed up a little bit. A little like, uh, it looked like Killer Kelly didn't know what she wanted to do here. Oh, good Irish whip. Back into the corner again. Big elbow. Good reversal. And now, oh, no. About to drop her down. Right on the back of her head. Pin combination. Referee in perfect position to... And just a two count. Killer Kelly able to kick out. And now Scarlet Bordeaux not wasting any time, picking her back up. Nice as chop. Now turns her around here. Irish whip. Hard Irish whip to the outside of the ring. Probably not a smart thing for Scarlet to do. Probably not a smart thing for her to do. She got to get her back into the ring and get that victory. She cannot play around with her on the outside. Mm. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going I'm, I'm to shut up. I'm going to shut up. She knows what she's doing. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be quiet. Oh, good reversal there. Kick right to the leg. Now what's going to happen here? Oh, big knee. Another big knee. Damn, two big knees there. And and I mean, hey, listen. Killer Kelly is going to show that she got fight in her. She's not going to play around. Damn, dropped her face first. I know Killer Cross is not going to appreciate that. And now look at this. Picks her up. Oh, vertical soup. Wait a minute. Yeah, vertical suplex. Holds her up here. Damn, dumps her down. With that vertical suplex. And now those are back into the ring. Smart move there after that huge maneuver. Is Killer Kelly about to go up top? What the hell is she doing? Yeah, th thank you. Please get back into the ring. That's probably... Ooh, kick right to the ribs. 
and now taking a breather while running back and forth in the corner. I mean, you have to take a breather, I suppose. Ooh, overhand, right. And now picking up Scarlett Bordeaux here and throwing her right back out the ring. I'm not understanding. This is confusing. This is a tad bit confusing here. I'm, I'm not understanding. And now picking her back up. Collar and elbow tie up. Push her off. Push her off. Big drop kick. Okay. Okay, like to see it. That's 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 the fight I like to see. Right there. Showing that you still are in this match. And now picks her up. Firewoman's carry. What's gonna happen here? And drops her face first right into the apron again. Second hardest part of the ring because we all know the ring post is the hardest. I I don't even understand why they sit there and say the 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 apron is the hardest part of the ring. When literally the ring post is the hardest part of the ring. Regardless. And back into the ring, Killer Kelly goes and Scarlet not far behind. Well, yes, a little bit far. Ooh, just land her chest. Right onto the apron. And now Scarlet definitely should be thinking about finishing this match off. And look at this Canadian destroyer. Yep, she has that definitely in mind. Has to drag her away from the ropes. Definitely has to do that. And you know she's going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count. One, two. Oh, almost a three count. Killer Kelly kicking out in the last second. And wait a minute. It looks like Bordeaux has another one in the chamber and picks her up. Oh, she's going to dump her right on the back of her head. Pin combination. Referee for the count two. Oh my goodness, Killer Kelly kicked out again. Say that three times fast. And now, Scarlet trying to, ooh, caught an elbow right to the face. And now Killer Kelly in the driver's seat. Look at this, knife has chopped to the back. Kick right to the chest. And now going for the pen, pen attempt with that soccer kick to, oh, almost a three count and Killer Kelly can't believe it. Oh my goodness, they are teeing off against one another right now. This is wild. And now got her hook. Fisherman suplex. No rope break? No rope break? Wow. Oh my goodness, another kick out. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. They are going at it right now. This is crazy. And now picks her up with that vertical suplex again. Holding her up and dropping her right down. That vertical suplex definitely putting some pain on Bordeaux here. And Killer Kelly has to think of something here now. Trying to wear down her opponent. Trying to break down those ribs here. And really put it in the pain. And is this going to be a submission? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't you dare. Don't you, ooh, elbow, another elbow. Damn, three of them. Ooh, and Killer Kelly got back to a feet and closed like her right out the room. That definitely pissed her off right there. That definitely pissed her off. And now, ooh, getting tossed back into the ring. Okay, Killer Kelly trying to show her dominance, but that kind of turned on her pretty fast. Oh no, Irish, wait a minute. It might be time. It might be time for the Canadian Destroyer. Oh no, it's going to happen. Is she going to lose to Scarlet? Oh my goodness, pin combination. It might be over. It might be over. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, Scarlet Bordeaux just defeated Killer Kelly in a crazy matchup. Wow, this showcase main event was definitely a showcase here and definitely a main event i cannot believe it both of these women teed off they knew they both wanted a victory here but scarlet able to get the w here tonight and you gotta think that moves her up you gotta think winning a match against killer kelly that moved her up she definitely moved up in rankings i mean that was a crazy matchup between both of these competitors, I'm sure most people thought Killer Kelly was going to walk away with the victory, but 
man, Scarlett Bordeaux had that fight in her and wanted to show the world that she is not playing a around. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. It is great to be back recording videos. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in this universe mode later.